Hello fellow 3D printers, I'm Jay Wall Print That Thing, here to fry y'all up some nuggets. <laughs> you little fuckers are hungry. <laughs> PVC pipe printing. An Australian chemical company called Kempson Pacific has created a brand new filament they call 3D Vinyl PVC. The material has a low melt viscosity, excellent flow properties, heat stability, excellent layer adhesion, and enhanced durability. 3D Vinyl has been tested on the AOI flagship printer, the Zeus, and successfully produced a PVC plastic part. A first in 3D printing history. 3D printing optics for lights. A Dutch company, yeah, Dutch, called Luxacell has become the first company in the world to 3D print fully transparent, perfectly smooth, and optically functional lenses. They patent the process called print optical technology, and it uses small droplets of UV curable droplets, high-powered UV lamps to form perfectly clear geometrical shapes, allowing them to create prisms, lenses, and full color graphics that are not possible with Pro 3D tech. This feat has opened the door to 3D printing to the lighting industry, meaning in the future you'll be able to create lighting fixtures that are printed straight from your computer and printer. A doctor predicts to be able to 3D print organs by next year. Dr. Teja Gouda, researcher at the University of Texas, San Antonio, has boldly predicted that the medical community will be able to print organs using 3D printing and bioprinting within the next year for medical research. 3D printing bike boost. In May, Hackaday showcased a really awesome 3D printed bicycle booster designed by Michael Graham. The design has multiple configurations for mounting on most adult bikes and can reach up to 25 miles per hour with pedal assist and it runs on a battery pack and what's even cooler is that Mike provides the files on pin shapes and details of how to put it all together on Instructables completely free. Print dry filament coming right up. We got your moisture sucker sucking the filament. There's a company called Print Dry that recently shipped out their first batch of filament dryers in 2016. According to 3dprint.com and the company's website, they've created this little filament moisture machine to suck the moisture right out of it. Filament moisture can essentially just mess up your prints, uh, give it rust surfaces, bubbles, and even cause brittleness to your prints. Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe. You can click the little eye in the corner for more nuggets, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.